already made this video, I know that, but there's no such thing as too many new releases, right? Hi guys, I'm Franny and welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to share with you some other new releases that are coming out from January to June in 2019 this year. If you haven't watched it, there's a video that I made during Vlogmas about new releases that are coming out from January to June of 2019, and I thought I had made a good selection of new releases that I was highly anticipating. But in the first few days of January, I just came across so many new releases new to me releases that were coming out in 2019 that I just, I cannot not talk about them. I cannot not share my excitement for these books with you. So yeah, we're just gonna talk about that today. Again, I have my computer with me because I just don't remember all the release dates and other details. So forgive me if I look down from time to time, but I just... I will talk about a graphic novel, a middle grade, some YA books, and some literary fiction. So there's something for everyone. Coming out on January 29, we have A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. This is the first book in a series, a modern retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which already is calling out to me. It is a YA book and it is set both in a fantasy world because there is a prince of Emberfall who has been cursed with living the autumn of his 18th year over and over again and there's a girl who lives in Washington DC and that somehow will meet this prince. I don't know why but I'm here for it. Also coming out on January 29, we have Bloom by Kevin Panetta. And this is about Ari. He has just graduated from high school and now he's supposed to go and work at his family's bakery, but he does not want to work there. However, another guy comes along and he loves baking. He is hired by his family and the two of them start talking. And I guess love is in the air with the smell of dough, which is the best smell there is in this world. I looked at some pictures that are in this graphic novel of the art and the images and they look just so beautiful and cute and adorable and that is exactly what I'm expecting from this graphic novel, so I just, I'm so excited because there's a bakery. Then we go to the 5th of March and on that day comes out When All Is Said by Anne Griffin and this book is about an 80 year old man who goes into a bar and toasts to five people that are important in his life, that were dear to him. And the book should be all about that, about why these people were important to him and him talking about them in this bar while drinking. Through these stories of unspoken joy and regret, a secret tragedy kept hidden, a fierce love that never found its voice, the life of one man will be powerful and poignantly laid bare. So I just, I love this synopsis. I don't know why, but I, I think this book is going to be great, a great literary fiction, and I think it's a debut, it's a debut novel. This goes straight to my pre-orders for 2019. And coming out on March 28th, we have Other Words for Home by Jasmine Warga. Yasmin, Jasmine, Yasmin, Jasmine. Um, and this is about a young girl, Jude, who thought she'd never leave her beloved brother and father behind all the way across the ocean in Syria. But she moves to America and she has to go to school there and she has to settle in. It is middle grade and I don't usually love middle grades, but I have, I don't know, I have a good feeling about this and I really love this cover. It is just the cutest thing ever. So yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to this book. And on April the 30th comes out another book that just goes straight to my pre-orders list. It is Walking on the Ceiling by Aisegul Savas. I butchered that. And this is about a woman named Nunu who, after her mother's death, moves from Istanbul to a small apartment in Paris. And there, outside a bookstore, she meets an old man, Mr. M, an old British writer whose novels about Istanbul Nunu has always admired. What follows is an unusual friendship of eccentric correspondence and long walks around the city. Long walks, correspondence, that's, that's me. 
Okay, that's me. I'm just, I'm so excited about this one. Like, the moment I found out about this book, it just... This is a pre-order, and this is gonna get read as soon as I get it. Then we have We Hunt the Flame by Afsa Faisal. Faisal? I don't know. But this is the first book in a fantasy YA series. I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy, but it is set in a richly detailed world inspired by ancient Arabia. And we have two main characters. Zafira is the hunter, disguising herself as a man, which already one of my favorite tropes, I mean, disguising yourself as a man and being a thief, those are my two tropes that I just, I, I love them. And then there's Nazir, he is the prince of death, assassinating those foolish enough to defy his autocratic father. D do you need anything else? D do you need anything else besides that? I just, I don't think so. Okay, two more. These are both YA books. The first one is The Grief Keeper by Alexandra Villasante. And this comes out on June 11th. And it is about a girl and her little sister who are caught entering the United States illegally. And in order to stay in the United States, the older sister, Marisol, she has to become a grief keeper. She has to take someone else's grief into her body. This is a dangerous experimental study that the United States are conducting so I just I, I'm excited about that I think it could be a great YA book and the second one is we contain multitudes this comes out on sorry this comes out on May 14th this comes out first this is for fans of Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe and for fans of I'll give you the sun I didn't like the first one, but I loved I'll Give You the Sun when I read it. This is by Sarah Henstra, and it is about two boys who are partnered in English class, and the assignment is to write letters to each other. And you guys know how I feel about letters, because I never stop talking about it. I love letters, and I just, I want to read this. You want to read it so bad. So these are all of the new books that were added to my new releases shelf on Goodreads. And they're coming out in the first half of the year because there are other books that I'm highly anticipating and they're coming out in the second half of the year, but it's too soon to talk about those, right? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know if you are excited about these books as much as I am, if you had heard about them, if you know about other books that are coming out in 2018 in the first half. Let's stick to the first half for now, but if you know about any other books that are coming out in the first half of 2019, definitely let me know in the comments. I didn't mention the new book in the Shatter Me series by Tahara Mafi because I'm... I have some conflicted feelings about that, but definitely let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you soon in another one. Warm hugs!